What to do, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to your boy's channel. So I'm going to be checking out a small little part of Spill Sesh's new video titled Acacia Brinley is in trouble. Let's do it. Um, she has been getting a lot of backlash recently because some old tweets and videos have surfaced of her using racial flaws, and that's not good. It's not good at all. Now, this whole situation gets very dicey because these are a bunch of things from the past, and I know people can change, and trust me, guys, she's changed a whole ton since back in the day. Like, if you guys saw a photo of her back in the day and you saw a photo of her now, you would think they're... What the hell? People. I thought that was Bella Delphine. Like, she has tried to transform her life and I know a lot of people are really knocking her parenting choices. I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm defending her. I'm not trying to make it seem like I like her. All this stuff, you guys, I'm really trying to play the middleman here and just tell you what is going on and who she is. So a lot of people I know have been knocking her parenting choices for one of her daughters. They think she's favoriting one of them over the other. It's a whole mess. I'm not going to get into that because that has nothing to do with any of the comments that were made from her past. I'm just saying that... This That's one thing, dude. If you're a mother or you're a dog, dog, I was going to say daughter, <laughs> or you're a dad, okay? You guys decide to have two kids. You love them equally. Whenever a kid asks their parents, who do you love more? You know what the answer is always going to be. I love you guys equally. And that's exactly how you should also treat your kids equally. I don't watch the content. I don't really know what's going on. But if that's going on, whoo -hoo, trust me, I have some daddy and mommy issues I'd like to get off my chest brought up all at once hashtag acacia is over party was going around on twitter there is a whole thread of all the videos and everything that she's ever tweeted they are bad like really really bad a lot of stereotypes a lot of saying a certain word that you're not supposed to say Ooh. it's not good it's not good at all it's not a good look but she has come out and she has apologized and she posted this on her instagram story the universe is giving me so many lessons right now in my personal life and my public. I'm trying to take time for my body, mind, and heart to heal so I can be the best version of myself for me, my girls, my partner, and all of you. It's hard reminding myself that I'm only human because who wouldn't want to be perfect? Who wouldn't want no flaws? No bad past. Sounds great to me, but that's not life. Life is changing and ever evolving to understand that progress is so possible and right in front of us. I know my life has been one big roller coaster, mostly going down for a majority, but I am here to prove growth. I'm here to prove that you can be educated and understanding and learn to make decisions based off of love and not your fear. We all just need the opportunity to prove it. And for some like me, you can wait for someone to give it to you. You just have to start today and keep trying. Okay, you know what? We're gonna wrap it up, all right? This has happened to multiple, multiple, multiple YouTubers. Past tweets of them, you know, saying some stuff that they shouldn't be saying, using some words they shouldn't be using. This is not new. This is not new. I mean, Tana Mojo, you guys remember that? She bounced back fast. It's like everyone, like it happened to Tana Mojo, it was like a week, iDubs did a video on her, boom, shabam, it was over, and then Tana Mojo went to having all her clout and all her fans back, you know, this happens a lot. But at the same time, it's not okay, okay? See, see, there, there, there should have been never no point in your life where you being um, a person should be doing this kind of stuff online. I don't care if you're 13 years old, it's, it's just certain stuff you shouldn't have said online. You know what I mean? Uh, me, see, I'm blessed. Like, I, I've never said anything like that online, even when I was 12, 13. I've never posted any kind of thing I shouldn't have posted or said words I shouldn't have said. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty cringy. Like, I'm pretty sure when I first got on Twitter, when I was like in high school, I would make tweets like, the only thing that lights my soul is by looking at you. <laughs> like, I would post shit tweets like that. I don't know why. Oh no, dude, I was just in high school, bro. I was in my feels. But at the same time, um, that, that's why I just think, though, like, you as a person just shouldn't have ever said this. But again, she was younger, and, you know, obviously she's matured a lot. She has kids now. Um, and I'm sure she's not actually like that, you know what I mean? No way in hell. But at the same time, favoriting one daughter, that's not okay. I really don't like that if that is happening. I despise that because I'm not going to lie, when I was growing up, I was not the favorite. And I, I was in a situation very similar to that. I'm gonna get into it, but yeah, that's it, dude. Keja, smarten up.